my name is Tori Anderson. In this video, I will be explaining three potential pathways sertraline uses to induce liver cell toxicity. Before we get started, I want to explain what sertraline is and why you should care. Sertraline is a drug that is prescribed for depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, panic disorders, and post-traumatic stress disorders. With so many uses, it isn't hard to see why sertraline is the 15th most commonly prescribed drug in the United States as of 2015. Although its primary effect is on the brain, sertraline has a concerning side effect on the liver. Some patients who have taken sertraline have experienced liver toxicity, even to the extent of liver failure. The exact mechanism through which sertraline causes liver toxicity is currently unknown, though three pathways have been proposed. Let's take a closer look at each of these pathways. First, we have the death-inducing signaling complex, or DISC, pathway. In this pathway, sertraline increases the production of the pro-apoptotic factor tumor necrosis factor A, or TNF-A. TNF-A binds to TNF receptor 1, FAS, and FAS ligand to form DISC. The formation of DISC leads to the activation of caspase 8, which eventually activates caspase 3, the effector of apoptosis. In the second pathway, TNF-A binds to TNF receptor associated factor 2, this complex activates apoptosis signal regulating kinase 1 as long as a reactive oxygen species is present. Activated ASP1 activates June N terminal kinase, or junk. Junk can then travel either to the nucleus, where it regulates TNF A production, or to the mitochondria, where it initiates cytochrome C release. Cytosolic cytochrome C initiates the caspase 9 signaling cascade ultimately resulting in caspase 3 activation and thus apoptosis. In the final pathway, sertraline increases the concentration of calcium in the cytosol by causing an influx from both the cell membrane and the endoplasmic reticulum. This elevated calcium concentration increases the permeability of the mitochondrial membrane, resulting in the release of cytochrome C, which, as I said earlier, results in apoptosis. While it is currently unknown which of these pathways causes liver toxicity in patients taking sertraline, it is critical for additional research to be done to determine what route is used. Determining which pathway sertraline uses to induce apoptosis in liver cells will make it possible to find a way to prevent increased liver toxicity in patients taking this commonly prescribed drug.